welcome dear all in our youtube channel LXS project and myself professor Mohan Sheikh and today we will see a new hardware setup title name is multi-point wireless charging station ok so hardware setup is as available on your screen here is a so we will see each and every components one by one so first we will see uh, we are using four trans power here to provide uh, uh, power to the coils individually ok as uh, this is some required high amount of uh, power ok that's why we are using dedicated transformer for 4 coils uh, each transformer for each coil next component we can see we are using uh, rectifiers to convert uh, DC, AC power to DC ok so to fulfill that purpose uh, we are using 4 rectifiers each rectifier is dedicated for uh, each transformer ok the next component is uh, here is one uh, hydrogen nano connected here it is uh, actually the brand of system and it is responsible to handle entire operation like uh, generating uh, pulsating DC signals for the windings and, and uh, running the LCD and uh, setting the frequency of the system each and everything uh, this is responsible and next uh, uh, component is we can see here is the frequency, frequency adjustment knob ok as you know uh, in a national system uh, we need to adjust the frequency to get the maximum efficiency of the system uh, which is called synchronous frequency ok uh, so to, to match that the frequency we we'll use these knobs ok this is for up adjustment and this is for fine adjustment next component is we are using one uh, LCD screen here ok and it is actually removable ok and it is used to display frequency and current and voltage of the system next component is we are using uh, uh, power MOSFETs or IGBT you can say to handle the high amount of current going through the coil ok so these are the four uh, MOSFET for uh, dedicated for each and uh, for each coil. Okay, each four coil. Our next component we can see uh, we are using uh, windings here to transfer the energy wirelessly. So we are using uh, here uh, uh, winding. Uh, this is the primary winding. Okay, and this is the secondary winding. Okay, and uh, it is connected to load and uh, capacitor. Okay, and you know an LCD and uh, power MOSFET so. Uh, Triggering operation, we are using this power mode for okay, and it is responsible to handle or to provide the power to Arduino and this is great. Remove this Arduino, and okay. If any kind of uh, maintenance occur, we can easily replace it. Okay. At the same time, we can also replace the MOSFETs. Okay, MOSFETs, uh, MOSFETs are connected to these nuts. Okay. If any uh, MOSFET is burned, we can uh, remove the MOSFET easily through these nuts. Also, we can remove the windings through these nuts. And also we can remove the transformers through the nuts. So after doing all the arrangements, so let's turn on the system. Okay, so here is the button for uh, turning on. So first we will turn on Arduino system. So you can see. Okay, uh, system is turned on and you can see frequency is around 418 kHz or you can say 4800 Hz. Voltage is zero because knob is not connected and uh, current is zero also because it's a measurement knob is not connected right now okay we will check it later so let's turn on the first two dis two coils okay uh, which pin is connected here so let's turn on it from here see coil has turned on okay two coils are running and two coils are off because we are not provided power to this okay right now so let's connect it you can see okay light is so bright here we are using incandescent lamps okay yeah, so you can understand current is uh, more than 1 ampere okay in this system that's why lamps are so bright so you can see let's put it uh, near to see and uh, you can see okay it is actually uh, 10 watts of incandescent lamp okay uh, which is uh, 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 glowing so bright okay so you can see and you can also see uh, this system okay current frequency is around 48 kilohertz okay uh, 4.8 kilowatt sorry so let's uh, change the frequency in the series and uh, sorry let's uh, first turn on these uh, two coils also okay so here is the switch see all four coils are running okay one two three and four so let's uh, put it here for your easy understanding so all four coils are running so you can see all have same incandescent lamp and same uh, specification for these files so let's uh, change the frequency and obviously we will see the difference so currently frequency is around 4.8 kilohertz so I have placed the hand to this knob and let's uh, see the lamp intensity I am going to increase the frequency so you can see that uh, ch changing frequency effect on power transfer so I am going to increase the frequency so you can see 
lamp intensity is dimming okay so let i uh, again set the frequency to 4.8 kilohertz uh, again decreasing the frequency current frequency is 6.5k okay uh, 5.6k now it is a 4.8k you can see okay at 4.8k kilohertz of frequency we are getting maximum power of transfer okay which we can see from the lamp intensity and let's uh, reduce the frequency from 4.8k so here is the knob i am reducing so you can see the lamp intensity is reducing see okay lamps are uh, dimming because frequency is not proper so let's increase the frequency to again 4.8 kilohertz so you can see the effect of frequency on the system current frequency is 4.1 kilohertz okay current frequency is around 5 kilohertz uh, 5 kilohertz so you can see at 5 kilohertz or 4.8 kilohertz we are getting maximum uh, power transfer okay using this knob we can adjust the frequency okay we can enter uh, by 10 so you can see the effect okay 40 50 60 or 70 and using this knob we can uh, increase the frequency by 100 see okay so current frequency is 5.2k or uh, 4.8k it is a uh, between 4.5k to 5.5k we are getting maximum efficiency uh, and now time to measure uh, the voltage of the system so we have dedicated knobs here okay we will uh, measure the voltage using this uh, pins so i'm bringing back the voltage measurement knobs here so let's uh, connect it here and here okay and you can see overall voltage is sorry it is not working properly see voltage is around 30.8 why it actually it, it, it is actual voltage is uh, 36.8 okay 36 or 37 voltage okay well, why is it it is starting because we have applied on load okay because of the load there is some amount of voltage drop you can understand okay so you can see the voltage of the coil is 30 Let's measure the voltage of this coil. So I'm go going to bring it here. Okay, and you can see there are two coils. So let's remove the connection of this coil, and we will plug it here. Okay, and it is here. Now it is showing the voltage of. See. This is 28 volts. Okay. As you know, there are, are all the materials are not exactly same, but there is a little difference. So you can see because of the load of voltage, so the voltage is 28. Actual voltage is 36. Okay. Now we will measure uh, the current of the coil using this uh, knob. Okay, here is connected. So let's uh, connect it. Uh, okay. So we will uh, actually we will uh, it will uh, short the coil to measure the maximum amount of current. Okay, so let's put it here. See, lamp is dim though. Why? Because we are doing short circuit. Okay, actually it is uh, around round polarity. So let's connect it here. See, so you can see that the coil current is around one point six or one point five ampere. You can consider. A one point five ampere, okay. Uh, because we are doing short circuit test, okay, to give to measure the maximum current of the coil, okay. So co 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 current is one point five ampere. Let's uh, measure uh, the current of uh, this coil. Okay. So here and here. Okay, this is wrong polarity. Is the right polarity? So see, I have done short circuit to measure the full load current of this coil. So you can see the reading of coil. You can see 1.5 ampere for one coil. Okay, so it means uh, one coil is providing a 36 volt and 1.5 ampere of current. Okay, so thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any kind of queries, please uh, ask in comment section. So I have removed uh, current measurement knob.
if you have any kind of query uh, please uh, put it on comment section thank you so much